hey guys, this is Tor from TC here in London at uh, Raw Power Management with Jonah from Bring Me the Horizon. What up? And uh, we've been doing some tone prints today. Yep. Um, and so basically, in the tone print videos, we've been talking a little bit about some of your gear, um, you know, the pedals and stuff like that you use. So what about the rest of the gear? I'm a gear nerd, so I'd, at least for me, I'd like to know. And I guess there's quite a few kids out there who'd like to know as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, I actually don't play anywhere near as much gear live as I wish I could. You know, I've got <laughs> boxes of pedals at home and just it's so hard to manage it all and yeah. fit it all into a, a practical sort of a way to, to fit it into your music. Um, but at the moment I'm using uh, PV6505 amplifiers yeah. live. So that's my main source of the, uh, the really heavy. That's tone. like a classic metal amp. It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, as I mentioned before, my, my favorite bands and uh, the first few bands, metal bands I was getting into when yeah. I was a teenager all seemed to use that amp. And so I was like, I need to have it. Got it. So what bands are those just for the, just for the record? Um, there's a, a local band from where I'm from that not many people would have heard of called Day of Contempt. And they were one of the first bands I saw I know using them. And then a lot of the Swedish kind of Gothenburg sound bands like yeah. In Flames and Soil Work were using yeah. them at certain times. So uh, that kind of set the bar for me yeah. guess, with amps. Um, we have a, a few pedals, but primarily we use like an overdrive pedal. Um, I use a Maxon overdrive. Yeah. Um, a reverb and a delay pedal and uh, some, some kind of more weird stuff like we've messed with some electro harmonics pedals yeah. like a, a POG, which is sort of like a synthy octave pedal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the core of our sound. It's, it's actually quite simple. We're always trying to find some new little sounds, even if it's just something subtle, a subtle difference that's yeah. going to make it make a certain guitar sound a little bit, you know, more signature to, to yeah. our band. That's that's kind of what we strive for. Rather than just doing the same same thing that every other metal band out there is doing, yeah. we like to play around and try and find different ways of doing things. Get some new cool sounds. Mm -hmm. We're the worst band when it comes to trying to write on tour, you know. Mm -hmm. Put us in a bus and put a guitar in there and it'll just get chopped aside. And <laughs> Xbox gets switched yeah. off straight away. So we really have to be kind of in the zone when it comes to writing yeah. the album. And it's good because it means that it's the same as on tour. When we're on tour, we just focus on that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of having fun. But when we're writing, it's like, all right, yeah. time for business. Yeah. You know what no I mean? boosting and not too yeah. much of it. <laughs> I'm from Australia originally. And there's not a whole lot of bands that come out of Australia and get to tour the world a lot. No. You know, there's a couple that come to mind, ACDC and yeah. In Excess. Yeah. But apart from that, you know, younger, smaller metal bands. You know, I grew up spending loads and loads of money on all my equipment. Because yeah. in Australia, you've got all the import and shipping fees. Oh, yeah. They jacked the price up, so I remember saving for like three years just to buy my first amp. Yeah. And now it's, you know, I'm being treated like royalty, so <laughs> it's kind of a bit surreal sometimes, but I love it. Brilliant. Well, best of luck with all of it. Thank you. Cheers. And uh, thanks for dropping by here and doing this. Definitely. Thank you guys. Cheers.